Where are the best places to live in Rancho Mirage, California? Curious about the different neighborhoods, where they're located, and what they have to offer? Stay tuned. Neil here with fellow realtor Dean Palmer. And today, we're going to take you on a tour of Rancho Mirage's best neighborhoods. Rancho Mirage is known for its world-class golf courses and exclusive country clubs. It's also known as the Playground of Presidents. Let's take a look at some of the top places to live here in Rancho Mirage. And let's start first with the Tamarisk neighborhood. Tamarisk Country Club was established in 1952 and at the time was only the second 18-hole private golf club in the Coachella Valley. The first being Thunderbird, also located here in Rancho Mirage. It's located in the heart of Rancho Mirage on Frank Sinatra Drive. The neighborhoods surrounding Tamarisk Country Club also include Tamarisk Heights and Tamarisk West. Homes around Tamarisk include both gated and non-gated communities with HOAs that vary by the neighborhood. Tamarisk neighborhood homes are all situated on fee land where you own the land and the prices range from the 800,000 up to about $3.5 million. Many celebrities have lived in and around the Tamaris neighborhoods. Tamaris Country Club attracted the attention of Frank Sinatra and in 1954 he purchased five lots along the 17th fairway. It was here that he established his compound and where he entertained celebrities, sports figures, and politicians. Many homes have a mid-century modern design and can be seen during Palm Springs Modernism Week. And many of the homes in this area are considered some of the desert's finest. Now, let's head over to Morningside Country mm -hmm. Club. Morningside is known for its exclusive gated community, superb clubhouse facilities, and beautiful golf course. Morningside was founded in 1982 by real estate developer Ed Johnson. Morningside was the most upscale project in the desert at that time. Jack Nicklaus was brought in to design the golf course. In fact, it was actually the first course he designed here in the Palm Springs area. Morningside consists of 363 homes on 165 acres of extensively landscaped grounds. And the Homeowners Association provides numerous services not found in many private communities. And services include security home watch and 24-hour concierge shuttle service. And because the Morningside Club bylaws provide for a maximum membership of 225 full-time members, there are usually no problems scheduling a tea time at just about any time of the day. The golf course provides 155 acres in all perfectly manicured turf with 20 acres of lakes. And the bylaws also restrict no tea time lotteries and no outside non-member events. Members of the club at Morningside can also enjoy a fitness center and spa and six tennis courts. Morningside is also known for its abundance of seasonal color with over 10,000 plants of flowers planted each season. Homes at Morningside are three to four bedrooms and range from 2,800 square feet up to 5,000 square feet. And all of these homes are on fee land, that is, you own the land. Prices on Morningside homes range from $1.4 million up to about $3 million, and many of these homes have been recently restored and remodeled. Let's go next, just across the street from Morningside. Yes, the Springs Country Club is a very popular country club in Rancho Mirage. Founded in 1975, the Springs is a private-owned member country club. And the main entrance is located directly across from the Eisenhower Medical Center. The Springs sits on 385 acres and has an 18-hole golf course designed by Desmond Muirhead. The golf course is surrounded by majestic views of the San Jacinto and Santa Rosa Mountains. It's a challenging course with eight holes that are paralleled by water and bent grass greens. And they've really done a great renovation of the 48,000 square foot clubhouse, which provides indoor and outdoor dining and room for many of the activities that are always taking place. With over 800 homes, you'll find a vast range of styles and prices to choose from. The Springs has 25 community pools and spas, pickleball courts, a fitness center, and 12 tennis courts. Tennis Magazine called the Springs Tennis Complex one of the 10 best tennis facilities in the country. Home sizes vary, but most are three to four bedrooms ranging from 2,500 square feet to about 4,000 square feet. And prices range from the low 700 all the way up to 1.4 million. And HOA fees at the Springs include exterior paint and roofs and basic cable and Wi-Fi. Our next stop is just a little further north on Bob Hope Drive. Let's take a look at the S in Rancho Mirage. Mm -hmm. The S at Rancho Mirage is located on a 155 acre parcel of land that's at the corner of Bob Hope and Frank Sinatra Drive in Rancho Mirage. It was formerly called Desert Island, and it's unique for the desert. That's right. It's one of the few high-rise complexes in the Coachella Valley, and the only one in Rancho Mirage. It has three separate high-rise condominium buildings with a total of 226 units. And the three buildings are surrounded by a 25-acre lake. Two of the buildings have seven stories, and the third building has five stories. Dean and I have shown some of the condos to prospective buyers, and the views of the Santa Rosa and San Jacinto Mountains are really, truly amazing. 
It has an 18-hole private par 72 golf course with six sets of tees to accommodate all golfing handicaps and levels. This community was built in 1971, and its course was also designed by renowned golf course architect Desmond Muirhead, who also designed the neighboring Springs course. It has a 38,000 square foot clubhouse and other amenities. The condos are one to four bedrooms and range from 1,200 square feet all the way up to 5,000 square feet. The community includes 24 hour gated security, three pools and spas, fishing on the lake, tennis courts and a fitness center. Prices on the condos range from the mid 400s all the way up to $2 million. And Dean, we're also very close to an exciting new development that's coming to Rancho Mirage. Yes, and it's called Section 31. Let's take a look mm -hmm. at what's planned. It's a next generation community planned just east of Bob Hope Drive. It's planned to be a world class destination that will include some great new neighborhoods, a town center that will include shopping, dining, entertainment galleries, and high end resort hotels. The entire community will be built around a 34 acre swimmable clear water crystal lagoon known as the Grand Oasis. And I understand it will even have a sandy beach shoreline. It's well on its way to fruition. In late 2019, the city of Ranch Mirage signed off on the project. How many homes are being planned? A total of approximately 1,932 residential units are planned, inclusive of units in residential communities, hotels, and higher density units located in the town center area. Residential units include single-family detached homes, and also condos or attached units in a variety of configurations. There will also be high-end dining and entertainment, which provide jobs, and with the Grand Oasis, it should extend tourism into the warmer months of the summer. That's because the Grand Oasis will include swimming, stand-up paddle boards, and kayaks. And there will be extensive bike paths and pedestrian trails. As of this recording in January 2022, home prices haven't been released. So keep watching for a future video with more information about Section 31. There's also some new construction mm -hmm. homes being built just north of the new Section 31 development on Dinah Shore. Yes, it's Dell Webb Ranch Mirage. Let's take a look. This project started just a few years ago and is called Dell Webb Rancho Mirage. It's a 55 plus active adult community. The initial phases of building are complete, but new phases keep opening up to be purchased and the new construction of buildings and homes continues. The clubhouse is 20,000 square feet with lots of things to do. Activities include pickleball courts, tennis courts, bocce ball, a covered pool, and a larger outdoor pool. Also a golf simulator, meeting rooms, and a fitness facility. This community does not have a golf course, but they've made arrangements for special rates at the Mission Hills Country Club, which is just across the street. They have 10 home designs ranging from two to three and a half bedrooms and up to three and a half baths. Prices on the smallest base model start at $483,000. And remember, that's basically a bare bones home with very basic amenities. Depending on the finishes you want and the lot location, prices can go as high as the $800,000 range. It's really an impressive community and Dean and I have shown clients the models mm -hmm. and also have sold some homes there. One of the drawbacks we sometimes hear is because it's such a new community, much of the landscaping, including the trees and shrubs, are still growing. With all the construction still in progress, it's not as green as some would like. But of course, it will be in a few years. And as we just mentioned, we're just across the street from Mission Hills. Yes, Mission Hills really has a resort feel to its members and homeowners in the area. And it has a number of different sections with different styles, homes, condos, mm -hmm. and prices. Yes, let's take a tour of Mission Hills. Mission Hills has three championship golf courses located on 1,760 acres. The Dinosaur Tournament course opened in 1972, the Palmer in 1979, and the Pete Dye Challenge course in 1988. Many golfing events take place at Mission Hills year-round. It's known as one of the premier clubs in the Coachella Valley. The social calendar of events really has something for everyone. While Mission Hills is a private club, it is open to the public for membership as well. Along with golf, you'll also find 29 tennis courts, a new 17,000 square foot sports and spa complex, a pool complex, a large 55,000 square foot clubhouse, and we can't forget the croquet courts. There are a number of neighborhoods at Mission Hills. Some are on lease land and some are on fee land. Mission Hills East has 371 homes built on fee land with prices ranging from $410,000 to $850,000. Legacy at Mission Hills has 171 homes on the Pete Dye course, also on fee land with prices ranging from $800,000 to $1.3 million. 
Oakhurst at Mission Hills has 61 homes located on the Gary Player and Pete Dye courses. And it's also on fee land with prices ranging from $800,000 up to $1.5 million. Fairway at Mission Hills has 60 homes on the Arnold Palmer course. Also fee land with homes ranging from the upper 900000 to $2.5 million. Haciendas at Mission Hills has 21 homes on the Pete Dye course, and it's on fee simple land, with homes ranging from the 900s up to a million too. Lakefront at Mission Hills has 78 homes close to the Dinah Shore Gate on fee simple land, with prices ranging from $500,000 to $700,000. Oakmont at Mission Hills has 77 homes on the Arnold Palmer course, which is a fee simple land with prices ranging from $990,000 up to $2 million. Stone Ridge at Mission Hills has 45 homes on the Pete Dye course, which is fee land ranging in price from $860,000 to $1.5 million. Westgate at Mission Hills has 36 homes on the Pete Dye course. Gulf Phillips on the Dinosaur course has 715 homes on leased land with prices ranging from $250,000 to $575,000. And Tennis Condos at Mission Hills has 501 homes on leased land, ranging in price from $230,000 up to $580,000. So you really have a lot of choices in size, location, and price at Mission Hills. You really have a lot of choices for homes and condos in Rancho Mirage. Yes, and Rancho Mirage is a sophisticated community with world-class resorts, dining, and attractions. If you want more information about these amazing (laughs) places to live in Rancho Mirage, be sure to get in touch with me or Dean. Rancho Mirage has plenty to offer. Be sure to watch this next video about everything you need to know about Rancho Mirage.